In this video, I'm going to show you how to refund PayPal goods and services. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log into PayPal, then go to the left menu and press over here where it says activity. And by the way, you could also do this on a mobile device. But for this video, I'm just going to be using my desktop. But basically, the first step is to locate the transaction that you're going to be working with. So here it is right over here. This is the one that I'm going to be working with. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on it just like so. All right. So once you're here, please go ahead and scroll all the way down. All right. So then eventually you should see this option that says customer details. And basically the first thing you want to go ahead and try to do is contact the seller. So you want to email or message them explaining the issue. For example, maybe like an item was not received or maybe the item wasn't as described and request a refund that way. But if the seller doesn't respond or refuses to do anything, then open a dispute in PayPal's resolution center within a hundred. 180 days of the payment date. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press over here to where it says need help and then press on resolution center. Then over here, you guys should be able to go ahead and select on your issue. So it could be like you haven't received the item or stuff like that issues with the seller, etc. And basically you want to go ahead and read through each of these and see whichever one actually does correspond to your particular situation. But yeah, if the dispute doesn't resolve the issue, then you can escalate it to a claim within 20 days of opening the dispute. PayPal will investigate and decide the outcome, but potentially refunding the full purchase price plus original shipping costs or anything like that. So keep in mind, refunds are typically returned to the original payment method. For example, if you use a debit card or your PayPal balance, then it is going to go ahead and send it to whatever like payment method that you did use. So processing times may vary. PayPal balance refunds are instant, while card refunds may take three to up to 30 days depending on the issuer. So, you know, it really is a little bit of a hassle and you always want to go ahead and make sure that you're constantly checking PayPal for updates and stuff like that. But if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.